guys, Jan here in the Northview Model Shop with a really, really special unboxing. This here is a kit we picked up yesterday. We were out with a few friends. Um, this is the Mini Art uh, US Tractor D7 with Towing Wench D7 in. Um, it's 1 35th scale. Uh, it truly is an amazing kit. We're going to show you the frets here in a minute. Um, really cool. Contains 615 parts, uh, 7 photo etch parts, 4 clear parts. Uh, and decal sets. Um, really, really nice. Um, first things first, we open the box. We've mentioned before in some of the videos, we really love these, um, I call them offshore kits. I know they're all made offshore, but the, the non revel um, uh, to me, kits like that. They come with these really high glossy um, painting instructions. So you get your military and you get your civilian versions. It's pretty cool. I really like that. The instructions are very busy. Um, as you many of know before, we've kind of talked about instruction sheets with so many steps on one page, it gets a little confusing for us here. We're not very keen, but um, this definitely is going to, uh, you know, it's gonna take a lot of work. Uh, just amazing, the amount of parts alone in the engine. Here we are, one whole page of engines, two, almost two pages. Start building the drivetrain, you know, all that is just, oh man, it's crazy. Um, there's the tracks, we'll get to the tracks here in a second. Um, just beautiful instructions. We'll see here, 66 steps to that point. Alright, next we have our decal sheet, which is very, very simple. But that's what it is, it's very simple, which is kind of cool. But, what makes it even cooler is there's the glass, and there's what I just recently discovered, it's called the P3 fret or photo etch fret. Uh, I'm not sure what those parts are uh, as we get into the uh, into the build. We'll probably figure out what those are, but really nicely done there. Alright guys, talked about the tracks and with the military builders it's kind of common knowledge that um, the long vinyl tracks that come in some of the tank kits are just a lot of them throw them away and they buy the individual tracks you need to build yourselves. Well here they are. These come with the kit. All eight of them. Each one of these contains the stuff needed to build the tracks. There's your, your shoes, there is the connectors, and there's the pins to go with the connector. Now I understand what everybody says, I'm still framing here, uh, you need just to get some good music on, get in a good mindset, get a good rhythm, and you just you nail out these. Uh, each track contains 36 of these little toe or these little shoes you need to assemble. I can see that being very tedious and very difficult to make look right, especially with this be our first time doing that, but we're up for the challenge. All right. This is the wench, or the, uh, yeah, the wench in the back here. It's kind of neat. It's a Caterpillar engine, but the, the wench is built by Heister. Um, I work on uh, Heister forklift, so it's kind of neat. I kind of like that. But um, I've seen in a, a video online here, a feller actually uh, built the wench and then wound it with his own cable. Very nice touch. Uh, I'm going to steal that as my own little thing too. Uh, made that build look amazing. So there's the wench, a little kind of build in itself. Um, just want to make sure I pull the right stuff. These four frets are all the same. Um, I'm not sure what these pieces are, but they're very small. And uh, they're very crisp and clean too, which is really nice. Oh, we'll get those out of the way. Um, here is the drivetrain for the uh, left and right tracks. The same fret, obviously. Ooh, a little bit of marking there, a little bit of flashing. First flash I've seen on this kit, but it's to the back side, which is always good, right? You can kind of hide a little bit, but nothing to probably clean that up at all. But once again, very nicely parts. Here's the skid plates that go under the bottom of the tractor itself. The recovery hooks or towing hooks. Um, very clean. The plastic looks like... Um, my big fear was there's so many parts of these, pla these parts would fall out, but all these parts look like they're fastened really well. Makes a little extra cleanup, but oh well. Now we get into some of the bigger frets. And uh, I'm not sure here. We're getting into transmission. There's the bell housing, your transmission pieces, side plates. Um, There'll be some motor parts on there. All the way. Here we go. We got the the bonnet, the um, the front grill. Now I wonder 
if there was a photo etch kit for this, that would be cut out and replaced with a photo etch kit. It might be more realistic. Uh, the Caterpillar engine. Uh, the blade I noticed, the, the fan blade, I looked really close at that. It looked really, really nice. Um, your belts, obviously, this is all to build the cab up, or not the cab, but the engine bonnet and stuff. There's the seat, some, uh, there's a good ass groove in there. And then finally the last fret is the, I don't know which way this goes, I guess it goes this way, is the, um, there looks like a bell housing of some sort maybe as well, or maybe a gear drive for your front drives. This is all the side skirting for the, uh, for the tracks, you know, just really nice stuff guys. This is a really good, okay. pricey, really pricey, but uh, you know, we couldn't leave it there. It just looked so tempting, so we picked it right up. And then, as a little treat at the bottom, you get the Mini Art Catalog 2015. Uh, these guys got some really cool stuff. Um, um, definitely, this is more of the, uh, you know, there's no cars and stuff, so it's more of the military um, figure kind of stuff. But uh, all in all, guys, we were, uh, were kind of impressed so far. Um, no plans to actually put glue to styrene just yet, but... Um, you never know, something might tickle our fancy. Um, kind of thought about maybe this might be a good build to kind of run over the summer. Just kind of sit on the back patio and piece a little bit together. Especially those tracks. Those tracks are very daunting. Kind of a little scary for us, but um, you know, it is what it is. So. Alright guys, thanks so much for tuning in.